Next built-in component is Contacts. Go ahead and click on Components and Contacts, and here we see the same workflow. Categorize, Add, and then we'll show our contacts. Let's go ahead and click on Categories, and let's click a new category, and let's call it Mayor's Office. Click Save and Close. Now, once again, you'll see that the alias here is Mayor-Office. If you want to fix that, go ahead. Go ahead and click on the little zero here, and that will take us to Contacts, and we're going to create a new contact. Let's call this Mayor Steve. You could link this to a user if you've got users on your site. You don't need to, of course. And you need an image. Well, go ahead and grab an image from Google, or just put a picture of yourself up there for now. I happen to have one of Mayor Steve. And there he is. Steve is the mayor of Joomlaville. His email is steve at joomlaville.org. Now again, of course, that's a fake email address. The address of the mayor's office is 555 Joomlaville Way. in Joomlaville. Steve happens to be in the state of Florida, so let's put Florida in there. The zip code is 33601, and the country is the USA. I'm not sure who has a fax number anymore, but we do know that the mayor has a mobile. And his office is the same thing. The website, HTTP joomlaville.org. Again, this doesn't actually exist, so don't go there. All right, click on miscellaneous information, and here's where you get to just put up a little blurb about the person who you're putting up as a contact. Steve is the mayor. He's a great guy. Once again, you have your publishing details, start, finish, etc. Display you get to choose what part of the contact information you want to display here and then what kind of form will be available for people to email this user. We're going to leave this as the global for now. We'll fix that in just a moment. Go ahead and click Save and Close. So we have one contact in the mayor's office. Of course, we could put everybody from the mayor's office. Our workflow, Categorize, Add, and Show. Head over to Menus, Main Menu, and Add New Menu Item. Go ahead and call it contact us. The type is a contact, and we'll list all the contacts in a category and choose the mayor's office. Once again, all kinds of control here over how the menu is going to work. We can override all of the global properties that we'll set in just a moment right here at the menu. We're not going to worry about that. Go ahead and click Save and Close. Head over to your site, go to the home page, and now you have a menu item called Contact Us. Here is the Mayor's contact information, and if I click on Mayor Steve, I go to his actual contact information with a form and miscellaneous information. I don't particularly like that layout. Let's go and update that really quickly. Head back over to Components and Contacts and click on Options. Once again, just like the Article Manager, we have a ton of options here. Do I want to enable versions on the contacts? Do I want to show a contact list? What's the display format? I'm going to change that to Tabs. I much prefer Tabs than Sliders. Do I want to show all of that information? or hide it. And by the way, even if I show the contact's email, it's hidden via a JavaScript. And you can take a look at all of those. On the form, do I want to use a CAPTCHA? And we don't have that turned on, but if I did, or if, for instance, I installed that really nice new Google CAPTCHA that just has a check mark, it would be here and I could use it right on my form. 
Do I want to show the contact form? Copy to submitter. Are there any banned emails or subjects or texts that I don't want to get? And where do I want the person to be redirected after they submit a contact form? So go ahead and click Save and Close. And although we didn't change very much, we actually changed enough to make this look a lot better. Now I have tabs across the top instead of that kind of strange slider. That's my preference anyway. Contacts are amazing, and you can use them for all kinds of things. You can build out incredible encyclopedias of information, even using the Contact Manager. You can also build out great contact databases for even large organizations. And so that's the contact component in Joomla.